All right, so we're here with uh, problem set one. Uh, the last video we did problem set zero, so we're moving forward from there. Uh, we have um, part A is what we're going to be focusing on today. So it says here, you have graduated from MIT and now have a great job. You move to the San Francisco Bay Area and decide that you want to start saving to buy a house. As housing prices are very high in the Bay Area, you realize you are going to have to save for several years before you can afford to make the down payment on a house. In Part A, we are going to determine how long it will take you to save enough money to make the down payment given the following assumptions. Uh, so we've got the first variable given to us here at total underscore cost. Uh, the next one is going to be call the portion of the cost needed for a down payment portion down payment. Uh, next we're going to have the current savings amount which is going to be initialized to zero as mentioned here. And then here's where the more of the math comes in. We've got assume that you invest your current savings wisely with an annual return <clears throat> of four, I believe it's four percent, yep, here, four percent return on your money. Um, assume your annual salary is annual salary, and then you're also going to dedicate a certain amount, uh, which is going to be ten percent, um, to the portion, I guess it's going to be added to the portion saved uh, section. And then at the end of each month, your savings will be increased by the return on your investment, plus a percentage of your monthly salary. Now, we've got here, so from the user, your program is going to grab the following variables, and that's going to be annual salary, portion saved, and total cost. And then here, we've got the sample inputs to test your program. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We're going to come over to the program. Let's minimize. Let me come down here. So as you can see here, I've run it once already. Uh, but we're going to do it again just to make sure that this is correct. And we're going to use first the inputs of 120k per year, 10%, uh, and a $1 million home. All that should produce um, 183 as the number of months it would take to save up. So we're going to do that now. Let's come here. We're going to go to this view is read only. So we'll close it and start again. Annual salary, 120,000 a year. Uh, we're gonna put 0.10% and cost. And that's what we get. Number of months equals 183. All right, so now if we come back, we see another option. It's gonna be an 80K a year at 15% and a $500,000 home. So we're going to run it one more time. Point one five and, and we get 105, which I believe was the correct number. Yes. So we've got it. There it is. Um, just to let you get a further look at the code, you can see I've got uh, every single variable in here. Current savings, annual salary, portion saved, total cost. And we entered them all as floats because it's decimals. Um, it's just a good habit to get into. Um, then we've got the for loop right here. Or the while loop, I should say. And there we go. That's it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in problem set one for part B. Thank you.